Thank you. I just burped. <laughs> anyway, we're going to my doctor's appointment to show her what the pulmonologist said since he didn't test me, uh, didn't do a lung function test on me. So uh, we're going to Hadar's doctor after my doctor. So he had to take a... Not me. Did you All have right. to take a half day off? No. Oh. There's the truck. Somebody's moving. Somebody's yeah. moving out. It's not us yet. We will soon, hopefully. Yeah, it's a big truck. Bloop. <laughs> He's got a monster truck on my coffee right now. Not allowed to do that. So I have two medic medicines. You know that I have problems with my speech and my cognitive function, right? And I'm tired all the time. Like, is it chronic fatigue? Is it fibromyalgia? No one knows. But I found this medication from a TV show, okay? It's got Jack Black in it. What's the name of that TV show? Oh, the, the new TV show with Jack Black, The Brink, okay? And they take this pill to stay awake, basically. So I had her prescribe it to me, and it was like pulling teeth to get her to prescribe it, but I'm hoping that this changes my life, that I have some sense about me, that I am awake, and I can perform my duties happily. It's called ProVigil. Now, for a lot of people, this helps them, okay? So I'm going to see if this helps me. And the only thing that it can do that hurts me is cause an allergic skin reaction that is potentially fatal. <laughs> but, you know, with all medications, whatever. So onto the skin, my skin's bad, okay? So I said, can you prescribe me some uh, antibiotics? What worked for me in the past was amoxicillin or tetracycline. She's like, hmm, that's systemic. I don't want to give you that. And then she's like, here, take this Retin-A. And I was like, no, that makes me really bad. It, it doesn't actually clear my acne, and it makes my skin peel. I don't need that, please. So she was like, okay, well, let me give you Retin-A. And I was like, oh, whatever. So I didn't, I didn't feel that. And then I was like, can I, can I really have some antibiotic stuff? Because it really works. So she gave me this. It's called erythromycin. And it's a topical solution. So you don't have to take a pill, which is fine with me. Uh, antibiotic solution for topical treatment of acne. And it's 2%, which is probably kind of low. I'm not sure for a topical solution. But it's a prescription only. So hopefully my life is going to change. In the next 30 days, um, you know, something, something's got to give. It, it got to the point where something's got to give. And she was very disappointed with what the doctor told me, the um, pulmonologist, because he didn't check me. And she's like, what was your lung function? Do you have the results? And I told her twice, no, he did not check me. He did not check me. He looked at me and said I was too big. And he did not check my pump. But here it says he checked you. I said, yeah, he put my finger on a thing to check my oxygen saturation. And he, he probably got paid $1,000 for my insurance. I'm going to see how, like, what the effects of them are. Hopefully they're good. They had one box of this in their pharmacy. One. So hopefully it's good. Good dog, good dog.
I walked so fast on the treadmill we just blew it off. Just blew it off. So we're taking it apart. Yay! 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 Kind of had a little accident there. So he's ratcheting it now so it'll stay together because it's very hydraulic and it popped up and hit him in the face. Yeah, hydraulic air pressure. So we're trying to get in this door here and the door is too small. The treadmill fits in the hallway but not through the doorway. This is very, very much smaller. So we're going to put it in Raphael's room. We're going to exercise in there. Half bedroom, half exercise room pretty much. And half playroom. He doesn't live in there though, so that's okay. At first, for like the first two hours of taking that medicine, I was like, this ain't doing nothing. But I feel like a normal person right now. I feel normal. I'm still a little airheaded, like a little, um, I guess, a little cognitive issues. But I feel like a normal person with the energy. I do have energy. And I actually was standing up waiting for him instead of sitting down. So, yeah, I got more energy than usual. We're going to take him to the bus stop now. He's going to go to work. It looks bad outside. Well, you can't even see, but it's very dusty outside. Yeah, that was fail trying to show you that. Anyway. I had some time to myself. I was able to watch a few of your guys' videos, which I haven't had for like two months or something, maybe three. And I was actually able to sit down and write several people some letters. And I haven't been able to do that lately just because my brain is, it's not working, it shuts off. So far so good. I feel like a normal person. I feel like I want to go out and do something. And I never so we're gonna go out and do something. <laughs> we're gonna go to gymnastics soon. And it is not late and that sky should not look like that. It's like an orange cast. And doesn't that always mean that you're gonna have bad weather like tomorrow or the next day? I think that's how they used to tell the weather actually. If it was like green or orange cast outside or yellow cast, there was gonna be a bad storm. Uh, right now it's supposed to be winter time, it's not, it's hot still, but in winter time here in the desert it rains. So I'm not really looking forward to rain if it's raining outside, I don't want to walk in the rain, but I'll enjoy the day going out anyway. So in here I'm claiming my bedroom again because we're going to have to start sleeping in here when it gets cold. I moved the vitrine out of here so it's gone so I can actually get into bed. This is... Actually, yeah, this is my side of the bed. It's been so long since we slept in a bed. How you doing there? What? That looks so weird because my shirt's not blue. It's purple. Shirt's not blue. It's purple. So I'm going to get Raphael up and we're, because he's taking a nap, we're going to go to gymnastics. Yes. <laughs> oh, you had to fix the rug? I told him three times to get up, but as soon as I said gymnastics, he opened it up. He's like, yeah, gymnastics. Oh, are you fixing the rug for me? Don't worry about it. Hadar has to plug some stuff in there and screw it to the wall, so I just left it out like that. Come on. Really? Come on, we're going to go to gymnastics. We're going to get dressed. Woohoo! This is happening. It's raining. here today. Lots. All this going on and he's working on a balance me. Gymnastics. Woo! Good dismount.
I did something really stupid. First I left the house without a cell phone, so I have to carry this up by myself. And then I ran out of light. And then uh, I have cans in the back, like a whole huge garbage can of returnable cans and bottles. And I forgot to take it in. So I had to put all the groceries in the back seat. If you can see, he dropped a bag. I dropped. Oh, I dropped a bag too. I dropped a bag, guys. So, all right, here we go. I'm probably gonna have to take half and come back down and get the other half. Um, yeah, I did it in one trip, minus the diapers. I had to get new diapers because those leaked. Got the wrong ones last time. Any this way, cities? You want slices of cheese? Ellie, you want slices of cheese? Raphael was being very cute. And he eat the chicken. You gonna eat the chicken? Are we watching chicken videos? Uh, he had to kick a chicken. Yeah, we're cooking the chicken. And then we're gonna put the seasonings in. Seasonings in? Yeah, the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And the... Uh, all the other stuff. Oh, he's playing with his toys. He's he's got to get ready for bed because it's ten twenty, and Daddy's not home yet. We're just watching cooking videos. <laughs> I haven't eaten today except for one slice of cheese. That's all I ate. I've not been filming what I eat either. Um, today's like seems like a a whole brand new day, like. I don't know. It just I feel like I have hope or something. And for the last week I felt like I'd lost hope basically. I was just going to give up. I wasn't I wasn't going to go ahead with anything. I was going to give up. But I changed my mind about that every time. <sighs> Got to hit rock bottom to get back up again, don't you? You can't get up if you don't hit the bottom. So but I feel like I, I just have hope. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like my life is really on the verge of getting much better. And that makes me very happy. So, Raphael! Okay, gotta go find my child. Got this from Hadar. <laughs> He's typing something. <laughs> yeah, you read it right. He's on his way in 10 minutes at 11 o'clock. Ouch. I've been picking my face. Uh, Zeb. Zeb. I just watched Zeb's video, so. I miss my boy. He's 18 years old. Anyway, I've been picking my face. Raphael is watching... Something and Fiona. It's about cars. Something y Fiona. But it's in Espanol. So he's going to learn some Spanish. And I'm going to use my miracle thing for my face. And hopefully it's going to clear it up. You'll see a before and after next month. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully next week. All right, it's called acne trim. Maybe it'll make my face skinny too. I'm using this miracle device, which has cleared my acne up. <laughs> no. Well, I made pasta for my husband with cheese all over the top. He's not gonna get home until 12 o'clock. So there you go, <laughs> rice pasta. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. We are going to go house hunting. Pretty much mansions. No, we're just taking a tour here. Nice. No, show. they're great. They're great. I told Hadar I want to live here. See, this is an older house too, but it's still amazing. It's got a yard. It's great big. Yeah.